What's up everyone, Safe Zone here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my Funko Pop collection. Let's get right into this. Okay, so getting into my Funko collection, there's ones that you guys have seen in the past, but there's also ones that you guys have yet to see and you will see them today. Um, up first, the only TV one I have, and that is Judith Grimes for The Walking Dead. I think I received this out of a Geek Fuel box, um, which it was actually one that I actually would have liked. So I love The Walking Dead. I did not watch the past two seasons, um, but once it goes on Netflix, I plan on watching them. So absolutely love The Walking Dead. I want to get some more TV ones as well, television pops. Um, I want to get some of the Breaking Bad, The Office, Sons of Anarchy, because those are shows that me and my girlfriend absolutely love. And so this is the first Funko Pop that I'm sharing. That is Judith Grimes and the only television one that I actually have. Now, I'm going to be going in now through my hockey Funko Pops. I know not a lot of people are on my channel that love hockey, but I'm a huge fan and I have quite a few Funko Pops for um, the hockey players. So up first, for my team, the only Ottawa Senators Funko that came out, that is for Eric Carlson. Now, I told you guys before, I'm not a huge fan of Eric Carlson, but I love Funkos and I collect anything Ottawa Senators. So since this is the only Ottawa Senators Funko Pop, I was actually given to this, given this uh, from a friend, so definitely staying in my collection, but definitely a unique one. Now again, I don't like the player, but I collect anything Ottawa Senators. The next Funko is one that you guys have seen before on the channel, and that is my first ever Funko Pop. That is another hockey one, Connor McDavid. I absolutely love the player, and whenever I started getting stuff for Connor McDavid, I wanted to get a Funko Pop, and this is the first Funko Pop in my entire collection that I purchased. So, really cool, really great player. Absolutely love him. Next is one that I received as a gift from my girlfriend this past Christmas, and that is Wayne Gretzky. This is the one with the C on him, and I'm not sure if that was a rare one. I can't find it out online, uh, but I know there's ones that did not include the C, and this one includes the C. So I absolutely love this figure. It looks awesome. I'm a huge Wayne Gretzky fan, and adding this to my collection was really, really cool. Next, we have Patrick Waugh. This one here is one that I purchased from a hockey card shop. I still have the price tag on it, but huge fan of Patrick Waugh, and this is the first goalie Funko that I actually purchased. Absolutely love collecting this player. And this Funko Pop looks awesome. Next is the last Funko Pop for hockey related that I have. And that is for Corey Crawford. Now this player here, this past season before it started, um, he actually retired sadly. So at least I have his Funko Pop and a few other cards in my collection of his. And that is really cool to know in my opinion. So absolutely love this player. He is retired. So I'm glad that I got his Funko. I think I got this Funko in at a Dollarama for literally $4. So a great deal on that Funko. Now we're going to be going through the Marvel Funkos. And then lastly, the Q-Fig that I have. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to showcase them all on the screen here. I might have to put some in front of others. But we're going to start it off here with The Thing. Now, I absolutely love the Fantastic Four, but my favorite Fantastic Four is obviously The Thing. Look at the detail of this Funko. He looks amazing, and yes, I like keeping my Funkos in the box because they're easy to stack um, and display that way. That's why I do it, but it looks awesome. I absolutely love it. Now, all the Marvel ones are bobbleheads, but at first that was something that bothered me, but since I keep them in the box anyways... They are perfect the way they are. So I absolutely love this one. Next is one that my girlfriend got me, and that is actually the Iron Man for the Avengers video game that came out in 2020, which was really cool. I started playing it. I still have the price tag on it. Um, I never took it off yet, but I um, absolutely love this figure. I love the pose that he's doing in there. And the game, even though it got a lot of heat, I absolutely love the game. Next is one that is part of Marvel's 80 years, and that is Spider-Man. This is another one that my girlfriend got me, and look at the pose in there. You have the webs in between the arms. You have him, uh, looks like he's jumping off of a building and just gliding down. That looks really, really cool. As a Marvel fan and a Spider-Man fan, 
This looks pretty awesome. I absolutely love this pop. Next up is another one from Marvel 80 Years. You guys know I'm a huge, huge fan of Deadpool, and I didn't know, since there's so many Deadpool, I didn't really know which one I wanted to get. And we decided to go with the 80 Years Pop. It has him with the pistol and the knife. Um, just a pretty uh, generic Deadpool. I know there's some pretty comedic ones and special ones out there, but this is one that I wanted just for myself, for my first Deadpool Funko Pop. And I'm a huge fan of Deadpool, and I love this figure. I love that he's posing with his gun and knife. And now there is some funnier ones out there, but this is one that I wanted just to start off my collection. Next is a pretty heavy one, even though it's a small Funko as well. It still has some weight to it, and that is Thanos. This is one that I've been wanting to get for a while. I absolutely love Thanos. I love the Infinity Gauntlets that is in it here. And it looks like he's about to do the snap. I can't really tell. There's, of course, other ones of Thanos. One after he did the snap and a couple of other things that are really cool. But this is the one I wanted because it has him without any headgear on. And I love the costume without the sleeves. And it's the one that I wanted for Thanos. Now, of course, I want to get some of the other Thanos eventually. But this is a great one to start off, in my opinion. So these are all of the Funko Pops that I have in my collection. I absolutely love collecting Funko Pops. Hopefully I'll be able to grow my collection more in the future. Likely more along the Marvel TV show and hockey base. Um, that's more of the stuff that I'm interested in. So that's likely the Funkos I'm going to collect. The last thing I want to share, though, is a Q-Fig that I received a while back. Batman Q-Fig for... I think I got this from Geek Fuel. Now, whenever I looked it up way back when, um, apparently this is a rare Q fig. I'm not sure the value and I'm not even sure if it is rare. So if you guys know, let me know down below. That's why I wanted to share this. Is this a rare Q fig? Um, it's Batman. It looks like he's on top of a building, standing on top of a gargoyle. Really cool. I love this fig. I'm gonna be keep keeping it, but I just want some clarification on if it's actually rare or not. So these are all of the Figures, Funkos that I have in my collection must be, in my opinion, my favorite one has to be that Thanos. I absolutely love Thanos in the Marvel Universe, and this looks amazing. And it's a little bit heavier than the other um, ones that I have for the Funko Pop, so it's really, really cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, me showcasing all of my Funkos that I have in my collection. I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.